Hello, this is the first of two videos, hopefully, if all goes well, on my 1997 Land Cruiser. I've took, taken the steering wheel off and I'm sending it into Craft Customs to have uh, new leather put on it. So you can see the condition here. Um, it's a little wear here on the seams as you get towards the top. It's pretty much worn away on the front. The back it's worn away a little bit here too. Uh, one issue I have is it's it's really sticky. I don't know. It's like someone had ate a lot of candy that owned this before me. It gets really sticky around uh, in the sun. So they're going to uh, take all this off and put new leather on it. And uh, we'll rejoin this video when I get the steering wheel back in a couple weeks. Welcome back. Um, you didn't leave, but I did. Um, it's been over three weeks since I made the last video. But um, I sent this in to Craft Customs on March 1st, and uh, I took this to the UPS store on that day, shipped it to Texas from Iowa, and they, uh, when they received it, they called me, confirmed everything, uh, got my credit card information, and they recovered it and sent it back to me, and today is March 24th. So it's 24, day, uh, 24 days from when I shipped it out to when I received it back. So I don't want to discuss pricing here. Um, that's kind of their business. You can contact them. I'll put a link in the description. Um, you know, they're not paying me for this, um, but I'm just sharing this in case anyone's interested in getting their steering wheel recovered. But, um, you know, it's a couple hundred dollars. Uh, you can get exact pricing from them. Um, and so this is it here. You can look at it up close. all around the steering wheel. You can see here where they kinda, I think this gets glued in. Look at the stitching here. You can see the uh, finger uh, indents all the way around the wheel, very tight. So in the box, uh, when I received it, it had a little postcard here with their information on it. It also had a note here that says, do not use hand sanitizer on it because it will ruin the finish. So that's uh, something to keep in mind um, for it. So I'll, uh, I'm going to put the airbag and trim back on here real quick, just temporarily so you can look at it. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of a color difference, but um, we'll, uh, I'll do that and I'll come back in just a second. Okay, so here I have the airbag just set in here. It's not installed, obviously. But uh, you can see it is a little darker. It's a little, a little shinier. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this um, you know, gets a little shinier with use and kind of starts to match this a little more. You know, I would never expect this to be a perfect match. Um, but boy, I'm pretty happy with this. It looks good. So I'll take the airbag off here. And here's the uh, back trim piece. There. I'd say that's a, that actually matches a little bit better because it's not shiny. But that's a pretty good match if you ask me, considering that the only thing they had to go on was the old leather. I mean, they may have color codes for this, I don't know. But, um, you know, the old leather looked nothing like this. It was uh, very shiny and, um, yeah, it did not look good. So, um, but like I said, I'll put a link in the description to uh, this Craft Customs here. So, um, I don't know if I'll get it up right away, but I'll, I may be doing a video of uh, installing this back in the Land Cruiser if I get it done. But it may be a little while before I get that posted up. So uh, I'll put a link in the description of that too if I get it finished. If, it, if there's no link there, I don't have the video finished yet. So, but you can always subscribe to my channel. So if I do put the video up, um, you'll see it. So, and if this uh, video is helpful to you, I'd love if you could click like. If you have any questions about uh, this process or, you know, uh, steering wheels or anything in general, please leave that in the comments and thanks for watching. Bye.